you do me a favor, piano man, please? I want you to write me a song. They call me the hero of Antelope's Run, and I gotta show them they're wrong. You see, it all started a week ago in the bar down on Corridor 3. There was nobody there but us regular bums, two losers, the barman and me. Slopping up booze in the north corner booth was the old man they called Captain Jed. Cause he owned a tramp freighter, the old antelope, a ship that like him was half dead. Now Molly, they say, was a crack pilot once, a gal with a brilliant career. But then she started doping on Regulus One and finally washed out down here. And me, well, I wanted the Navy bad, but it seems that they didn't want me. So I stopped chasing stars, started sweeping up bars for bed, board, and all my drinks free. It was quiet that night with the docks closed down. There was nothing doing for a week. Not a ship was in port, but the old antelope, when the red alert started to shriek. The whole station shook like a hurt living thing. Then the lights dimmed and faded away. Then the gravity went, then the air pumps cut out, and the bartender started to pray. I stole that bilge, head for the antelope now. Jed's voice cut the dark like a knife. The station reactor's gone critical load, so run to the docks for your life. When we got to the docks, we found waiting out there every soul that had been left alive. They begged with their eyes for poor old Captain Jed to tell them all how to survive. Break out the suit, said the captain to them, Cause it's dark and it's airless and cold But I swear I can get you all out of here safe Packed into the antelope's hold Molly, he asked, can you navigate? I, she said, who do we have for a crew? The antelope needs only three hands, he said And I think our tall friend there will do the confident look that he flashed at me then made my heart turn over with pride. I never once thought about backing away. I think I'd rather have died. Two hundred alive in the antelope's hold, and the captain and Molly and me. We slammed the lock just as the station blew wide. Jed hit the main jets to get free. Now that kind of G-force is rough on the heart, too much for his ticker to take. So when we came around and we saw how he lay, we knew Captain Jed wouldn't wake. So I took the comm and the engineer boards, and Molly took helm and the nav. With a manual spread out all over the deck, and her mind for what they didn't have. She worked at the comp like a crazy machine while her hand shook like grass in the breeze. But her skill was still sharp, and she jumped us three times, never minding the shakes and DTs. Three jumps made clean, only one more was left when the ship's alarm started to blast. Her old worn out seals had come loose in the stress. We were losing our heat and air fast. On the bridge there was only one vacuum suit left Well they say Lady Luck is stone blind Edge or tails was the question I started to ask Then I felt myself hit from behind When I came to again I was sealed in the suit She was belted down tight in her chair With her hands on the console, a smile on her lips and the ice on her face and her hair. Here's the instructions to get us all home. I saw she had left on the screen. If any old shipmates should ask after Moll, just tell them she finally died clean. 
I made the last jump just like she told me to And I brought in the ship like she said They call me a hero now for what I did But they don't mention Molly and Jed So write me that song now, piano man, please And sing it out often and loud So they all know the story of one kind of hero The kind that makes everyone proud Cause some kind of heroes are lunkheads like me Who only do things that they're told And some kind of heroes are out for the glory They're heroes on purpose and cold Some become heroes for bravery, sure And some just because all is lost But a few are the heroes like Molly and Jed Who give without counting the cost Thank you.